What's up, everyone? Courtney Cox here bringing you Football Now, presented by Polar Fleece, the official uniform of New England. The Patriots are chugging through the season, cruising, actually, undefeated through the first six weeks with games that have mainly been blowouts or close to it. While the Jets are struggling with a 1-4 record and while this matchup on paper may seem like a cakewalk, the Pats know that no one can be overlooked. I don't remember the last time we went there and had an easy game. You know, it's always a battle of, of trying to, you know, stay on top, even if we get ahead. Um, I don't know if that was last year or two years ago there, and we end up down 14 zip, you know, by the end of the first quarter. So it's never easy going there. You know, like I always say, they know us well. We know them well. Um, it's just going to be a battle down there, and we don't expect anything different Monday night. They're going to give you their best shot each and every week, and it's going to be a great challenge for us. Uh, every time we play those guys, it's a tough football game, and that's what we expect. we got to be ready to go from the first play to the last because they'll be fired up. And one person people will be watching is Demarius Thomas, who had a lot to say about his tenure with the Patriots ahead of the Monday night matchup, calling it, quote, a waste of time. And how about the response from Coach Bill Belichick? Yeah, look, uh, Demarius is a great kid. I have a ton of respect for him. He's very professional. and. Um, did everything we asked him to do. Uh, our circumstances changed a couple times um, in that period leading up to uh, when he was traded. And uh, so I feel like I was always truthful with him, but things changed. And therefore, what I said was not the same as what it was, what I'd said previously. So um, yeah, it is what it is. The Patriots travel to MetLife Stadium on Monday to take on the Jets in Week 7. And we mentioned their 1-4 record, but that one win came last week against the Dallas Cowboys, who are seven-point favorites. So how does this usually play out? Well, this isn't the first time the two teams have faced each other for some MNF action. It's actually the eighth. The Jets hold the advantage overall against New England on Mondays, the Pats winning just three of the previous seven matchups. This game will take place at MetLife Stadium, like I said, which also plays in favor for the Jets. New England is just 1-2 on the road against the Jets on Monday. But enough about the history. What about Bill Belichick and the team? What do they think about playing on Monday? Yeah, I mean, I think everybody gets excited about Monday night games, you know, players, fans. Um, so when you go there, and I think in general, night games have more hype anyway. So um, I'm sure they'll be juiced up, you know, coming off a big win last week. Um, and then division, you know, us coming to town, I'm sure everybody will be in there ready to go. It's a division rivalry game, Monday night football. Everybody's tuning in, watching you. They'll be fired up. We'll be fired up. I said we beat them once, so they're going to come out. They're going to come out ready to play. So, you know, Monday night's always a, you know, high energy game. Uh, so we'll. We'll point to that and you know, we'll just be tough down there um, in New York. So you need to have a good week here if you're ready to go. And a quick look at the quarterbacks. You'd think Tom Brady has the advantage, but TB12 has had plenty of rough moments in the past three weeks. While Sam Darnold looked good under center in his return from mono against the Cowboys defense, going 23 of 32 for 338 yards, two touchdowns, and one pick. Game time is 8.15 with Michaela Bernava and Matt Chatham geared up for some pregame chat at 6 p.m. on Nesson's Facebook and YouTube pages, plus Nesson.com. Now it's time for some bad news, some missing pieces for the Patriots this Monday. As of Thursday, we had two guys not participating with Josh Gordon and Matt Lacoste. Good news is Ben Watson was re-signed. Limited participation included Rex Burkhead, Patrick Chung, Philip Dorsett, and Julian Edelman. But the big story of the week when it comes to missing pieces is Michael Bennett, who has been suspended one week by the Pats for conduct detrimental to the team. Coach Belichick was asked about the suspension and said he would not comment on any player's personal situation. Now let's send it to Gillette Stadium for Doug Kide answering all of your questions in this week's mailbag. Will Michael Bennett be a trade asset for a wide receiver or tight end? If so, who do you think? I think the Patriots definitely could trade Michael Bennett. Uh, since the Patriots did suspend him, obviously things are not going great with Michael Bennett. He's not playing a ton of snaps right now. Seems like he had a disagreement over his role with defensive line coach Brett Bielma. So if there is a player on the Patriots roster who they would trade, it probably would be Michael Bennett. It certainly helps that they could free up some cap room by trading him as well. It would be somewhere between two and $3 million that they could free up. And that would certainly help them bring in a wide receiver or a tight end or some other chip. 
I think it probably actually makes sense to trade him. It's just about finding a partner there with another team who would be willing to take on Michael Bennett, who would find him useful, and then also would be willing to give up a player of use for the Patriots. I just don't really know who's available. I know a lot of people have mentioned O.J. Howard from the Buccaneers, Mohamed Sanu from the Falcons, A.J. Green, Emmanuel Sanders, but I just don't know if any of those guys are available via trade. But if they are, and if they want Michael Bennett, then a swap there certainly would make a decent amount of uh, sense. All right, let's jump into what the Pats have going on on social media, starting with a guy who's not on the squad, but sure finds himself talking about them a lot. Adam Schefter was tweeting about the big story of the NFL this week when Jalen Ramsey was traded from Jacksonville to L.A. and one line sent social media into a tizzy, calling Ramsey the best cornerback in the league. Hello, Stephon Gilmore? Enter Marquise Flowers, for example. Just a small sample of the internet's outrage over one small part of a tweet. And how about a Pats prediction for the rest of the season? Well, we had Dana White in studio on Thursday, and here's what he had to say. Yeah, I just, listen, I, I predict what I always predict. Um, you know, we, we end up in the Super Bowl again. And that will do it for me. Thanks so much for tuning in. We still have a bit to go before the Pats are in action, taking on the Jets on Monday Night Football. I can't say it enough. So enjoy your weekend, and we will see you next week. Bye, guys.